So I'm using brackets as the editor and this is a simple HTML file. The good thing about brackets is I can do a live preview and I can see the output of that HTML page right away. So let's start with uh, putting the Angular dependencies in. So I went ahead and included the files that I'll be needing for my application. So I got the CDN link for the Angular main file. And my type ahead directive is actually in Angular UI Bootstrap. So I've included that as well. And I have included a file called module.js where I'll actually be writing my own code. So here I can just create a new module. I'll call it VK. And my dependency will be ui.bootstrap that I just included. Okay, so let's just do let's just do this much for now. And in my type ahead test, I'm gonna bootstrap the page with Angular. So I'm gonna say ng app equal to vk, which is my module, and I'll put a little bit of angular code in here just to see if it's working or not let's do a live preview so shows two it seems like it's working let's make sure there are no errors okay so everything looks good so i've fast forwarded to a point where actually i've added a controller and a service as well um, the service will actually be uh, used when we are using the type ahead directive and this will actually call any backend service so for this I have used uh, I'm calling an auditor service a service that understands auditor format that's just because it's it would be easier to demonstrate with that um, you know because in an for an auditor service you could actually pass parameters and uh, right now i'm passing parameters um, as format equal to json but i could also uh, pass parameters like dollar skip uh, and dollar top so dollar skip 10 will mean skip 10 records or give me the next 10. so what this will help me do is it will um, help me demonstrate pagination by just changing the parameters um, of this URL. And I've just used a publicly available URL. Um, so this is slightly different than, you know, a service which is not Odita. Um, you'll probably have to pass input parameters and that service should support input parameters for, you know, page number and all. Um, so this is handy. Now the way I've created the service is I have used um, ng resource. So in the module, I went ahead and put this as a dependency, ng resource. Um, in the HTML file also, um, the Angular resource um, has been included from the CDN. So the module now has ng resource, it knows about that. And coming back to the service, the resource, uh, to the resource, dollar resource we specify the URL and the URL like I mentioned is that OData URL so that's my simple service so on this dollar resource uh, we can fire uh, queries like get query and also we'll just do a dot get on this to get the data so that's our search ser service um, as part of the same module and then there's a controller that I've created and this controller will actually contain the search function so our type ahead directive is actually uh, whenever we enter some characters we'll tell the type ahead uh, directive to get the result uh, from this search call so uh, whatever parameters um, whatever characters we enter uh, that will be passed to this controller function as search param. Right now I'm not using it. I just um, put enough code to call the service uh, without any parameters, without any filter parameters. So search service is being called. We call the get method. And on success, we just 
um, assign the data right now to a scope variable and I'm just printing it out here right here so I've just added a small ng click uh, search so on clicking on of this we should see the data so this is just um, you know more preparation for the type ahead demo so next step um, I'll fast forward to the point where I've actually included the type ahead. I already have the dependency here as ui.bootstrap and the file is also included as uibootstraptpl.js. This has the type, type ahead directive. So next I'll actually include the markup uh, with the search as a next step, we now have a somewhat working type ahead directive. So I have put in an input type equal to text. So this is a text box and the directive is attached to that. So we are using UIB type ahead and it follows this syntax of um, selecting a value for value in the function. So the function is the search function within the controller and to which we pass in whatever is the value entered in the text box. Um, other entries uh, for this, other attributes for this input tab, um, tag are ng model. Uh, you can just specify any name for the model. Type ahead template URL, which is the which can be used to match to a template that we can use to show the matched results. So I have a very simple template here um, right below that with that same ID and within that I display the name of the matched model. So match is um, you know by um, type ahead uh, convention we get match in matches. Matches is a complete list and each row is a match. Um, so it will do an ng repeat on this um, div and for each match we can uh, work with the returned model. So this is the script for the matched results and uh, we're revisiting that search function. There's one important point here is that um, this type ahead directive works with async calls um, previously I had the get and I changed it a little bit to actually return the promise. So with async calls, um, type ahead actually knows to wait for, I can remove this console statement, but it uh, waits for the promise to be resolved and when the data is actually returned, um, this value, data.value is what gives us the array for the resolved promise. So we return that so we can use this value. So very handy uh, for async calls as well. So let's try to view this. Now when I put in any characters, we see the results. However, the results are not changing. Uh, because I'm not passing in the search param to the actual call. That will be my next step. But you can see that match results are showing up as you know in the format that I specified. And you see object object there because as you can click and select any item. And uh, since that uh, entire item is getting selected, it shows up as object object. We can probably fix it by saying value dot name because each array does have that value. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so that works. So you can make that selection um, using valid. So it is here. This syntax is a, looks a little cryptic, but that's how type ahead works. Uh, so it's almost like a a link query if you don't dot net so it's saying for each um, item 
in in the result set that you have here display value display that items name so so one step ahead now the next step we are going to actually pass the params which you're not making use of here will pass into the service so the next step is showing the filter results when we enter some characters in the text box and for that I had to use a different service what I realized we are going to take advantage of this dollar filter Odata parameter and what I realized was the original URL that I had it does not support this so I changed the URL to another one that is also publicly available and uh, let's take a look at um, the controller here so now the controller passes the search param that the view passes from here um, right here we are saying search dollar view value which contains the value here so controller has that it passes to the service service um, maps this to this input parameter within the string so the colon search param here signifies that whatever is passed here we will replace that in this url here and this uh, dollar filter is another auditor param like i mentioned um, equal to substring of name so another um, change is that the property name is name instead of um, sm uh, small n it's capital n so i made that change also here um, apart from that um, what we're doing here is um, substring of says what this means is if name has a search param as a substring then show the results so those results will be filtered out so if you see it in see it as working now we can try this when we enter a here it gives a list of um, results you can say b so it is case sensitive right now uh, we can make it um, case insensitive by using um, you know two uppers on the odata parameters but for now this is enough to show as a proof of concept that we can show filtered results if we are type cranberry with that's what we get um, or HDTV so that's it that's how we can show the filtered results uh, using type ahead